my sister. Where is that lady here? My sister, this one. Yes. Where is your husband? Eh? There's a problem. Yes. You know there's a problem? Yes. Eh? Yes. Did you tell anybody? Yes. You told who? I told my spiritual parents. Mama, did Street. you tell anybody about the problem? Of no. this one? No. You never told anybody? No. There's a problem. Yes. So can you see this problem will lead to divorce? Yes. This problem will lead to divorce. Yes. So what do you say about that? I don't know. I need direction of God. Even myself, it's depressing me, stressing me. I don't know. I need direction from God. Why, why is you say that you, your stories seem to be very pathetic? You understand? Mm -hmm. If you are saving God, eh? mm -hmm. why can you say, why you say this? Did you buy a car? Yes. The car belongs to you? Yes. Eh? Yes. So it doesn't have a car? Yes. So but I bought it so that we can have a business together. So now you also have confusion with the car issue. Yes, because he's so, is telling people that I bought, uh, like the way it is, he's saying that uh, the moment when I bought a car, he was jealous about it. He wanted himself to be the one who's buying the car, but of which I was buying it for us so that we can have a business. Why is he saying you are disrespecting him? The problem is, he said, uh, when he was confessing himself, he said that he was jealousy. To him, he thought it will be the, he will be the one to buy the car. So he wanted Why him. Why you move out with the car, you leave him with children? Do you have two children? Yes, I have two children. Why do you leave him with children? When he, I see you moving out. Why? I see you moving out with the spiritual parents. Yes, when I was coming here to church. When you come here to church? Yes. You live here with two children? Yes, he was there at home with them. And then I was here at church. So, he never told you he's also complaining about that? He even told me that. And then I said, uh, you must tell our parents that you, might, you want to go with them. And then he said, no, he doesn't want to come to church, but he will be complaining. God loves you, you understand? Yes. Can you see... I'm asking your spiritual parent, did you tell me? What no. I'm saying? Did you tell Mama? About what is happening? What is no. happening with this woman? No. Did you tell anybody here? No. So, devil want to, because this lady served you very well. Mm -hmm. eh? So, now there are people who are saying, uh, You've done wrong. Yeah, something you've done to this woman. Yes. Eh? Yes. So carry on saving. Amen. Amen. She even received a call, a private call of somebody threatening her about the car. I'll give glory to Jesus. <laughs> so carry on saving God. Carry on saving God. You understand? Amen. God loves you. I won't pray for you. Amen. Can you say, I'm just looking at the serious pro problems. I'm here for serious. This is a very serious issue. Huh? Me. I'm even sick now. I don't even understand what is happening to my life. Can you hear that? <laughs> huh? She says she's even sick. This is a depression. Yes, it is. I'm depressed. This is a depression. I can't sleep. Can't... I can't even eat. Are you aware of that? Huh? I'm very much aware. That's why you came with her today. That's why you came with her today. Yes. I give glory to Jesus. I want to warn you, uh, you people, when we are quiet, doesn't mean we are not aware. I want to warn you now, if you are hearing me talking about this issue of this woman in details with two children, because I see two children here, huh? two children here, yes. and I see this man left with the children. So this man, how can this woman say she respects me? She take my... A spiritual parents and leave me with two children. Did you agree? Yes, I agree. 
And the, the funny thing is, when I say go to church with them, he doesn't want to talk to them that I want to go to church. But he will complain that I'm going to church. You love him. I love him, but now I don't understand uh, what's happening. You have a problem too. Mm. You understand? Exactly. So you have a problem. Yes, very true. You know you are saving God. Mm. You are saving God. But because this man is empty, you understand? Mm. When a husband is empty, you understand? When you reject him, you also reject his blessing. Mm. You understand what I'm yes. trying to say? Because there's a blessing in him that will come. Yes. You need to fix your marriage. Yes. You understand? Thank you. Thank you. Fix your marriage. Yes. You understand? Yes. Already you are Magogo. No boy will love you again. <laughs> you understand? Yes. Don't ever see yourself that you can get someone else. Mm. What is needed now is you, you fix your marriage. Yes. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. You still want to talk? Huh? No, I just want to say thank you because I was here for that for direction because I didn't no, know you want to, you, you want to leave, eh? Yes, sometimes I was even thinking of that. Sometimes? Mm, but my problem was I don't want to do things eh? that at the she end I will be in. I can't hear you. I will be offending God. She told her she wanted divorce. She said she wanted divorce, she's tired. And my husband said we cannot do anything without our parents confirming. We Where's your husband? Wow. Can you see that? They said we are here for that. You are here for? You are here to get pa paniki. Paniki, your bottle. You are here to get a job. You will get it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Look here. If this woman, if she divorces her husband, it's going to affect your ministry. Yes, did it. You understand? Yes, they It's going to affect your ministry deeply. Yes, they Because they know, many people who know you, they know how much she saved. Yes, that is true. It will be you who made her to divorce. It will be you. So, she must not divorce. This woman also, she has the stories. You know, she's a rough woman. Huh? Yes. She's a very tough woman. Yes, I so, know. So she must calm down. Be a wife. Mm -hmm. Even if you fast 40 days, you will never be a man. Yes. God bless you. Amen. Yeah, I think uh, I, for me to tell her this is because I love her. You know, uh, because sometimes when you, you are married, you understand? When you are married and then you start to succeed better than your husband, don't ever think this man is useless. If, if you, are, you are, we call them what? Is it decisions? If you're the only one who decide, decide, decide. And when, he, when you listen to his decisions, are lousy decisions. And you just say, ah, I won't do what he says. Always is you that he must do what he says. It means now you're a husband. Reach a level where you put it balance. A wife, you hear what I'm saying, Mama? Eh? Very well, did, eh? and I thank you. Yeah, because you, you are, a, you're, you're a troublemaker. <laughs> you understand? Everything, everything. This this man, if we sit down with this man and you, you have got weakness, but you are the one who's going to be blamed. You. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Maganenisa. And with me here today is my sister who is located during the service by the men of God. And please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is uh, Lorraine Nerubarani. I'm from Mavikeng. Today during the service, the men of God located you and spoke unto your life. Kindly please tell us in detail what the men of God said to you and please confirm it. Um, the men of God located the issue of marriage, that there are issues in my marriage, yes, indeed, it is true. Uh, the reason uh, that I'm here is because um, there are challenges in my marriage, of which even myself, I didn't know what to do, what to touch or not. But I just thank God that as I was here, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the men of God located everything. And I thank God. Amen. And how has these issues been affecting you, and how long have they been happening? 
It has been happening since um, I got married for about six years ago. Uh, it has affected me so badly because um, I believe I've also, I was also under the um, a depression as the man of God has also mentioned. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and spoke to you regarding something that's been troubling you for six years now? I, I'm so overwhelmed. I, I have received the direction that I was looking for because I was praying with myself. I was confused on what to do. So I really thank God and I'm very happy for such a direction. And what words of encouragement do you have for somebody who's currently watching this? What I can encourage is that let God be the one who has got the final say in each and every situation.